Alrighty. Yo. Let's get some coaching going. What's up, guys? It's time for some coaching. Let's get to work. Let's hit the streets. Darius versus Shen. Darius versus Shannon, dude. Sorry, um, Darius versus Shen. Gonna be checking this bad boy out. Uh, my first takeaway here is it definitely seems to me that a W start would probably get you a little bit more done. At least in my opinion. Yeah, I always try to put a couple hours in uh, every day, even on the weekends. Well, mostly on the weekends, I say a couple hours. I think you're kind of lucking out that... Uh That Shen isn't trying to extend these trade. Oh, I guess he didn't take taunt. It's a dangerous, dangerous lane uh, early, believe it or not. Shen can actually outplay you. I think if you play it perfectly, it always goes your way. You time this badly, I think, as well. Okay, let's talk about this situation. Pretty sure we can get this kill most times uh, if you time this correctly. So right here, you're level three, okay? I don't, he was walking towards you anyways here. If you look, there's certain situations where it doesn't make sense to, uh, to rush the grab. This would be one of them, okay? So watch, you turn level three, watch. He's running away, comes back to you. He doesn't have vision. It's quite clear he doesn't have vision because if surely if he had vision here, actually, I just want to show you so you can get a read on what uh, this guy's going to see in a lot of cases. He can, he, he can be seen here for sure, but it's, it's very faint. Okay. So you should have definitely slow played the grab a little bit more. Um, and, and then wait until he steps back and then grab him. So you don't want to spaz with your CC. It's not a big deal. It's a small, it's a small thing, but it, it could have made the difference between us getting the kill or not. At this point, you really want to just get this under tower and back. Let's talk about this. So you don't want to get taunted under tower, I understand. But give that minion away next time. Because you know you know going for that minion is gonna result in the tower shot. 
Um, let's back up. There had to be a point where we could actually get this under tower right away, I think. What's up, guys? Good morning. I just see this again. Notice how you, well, I guess backing up's fine because if he turns level three and taunts you, we're kind of fucked. Yeah, the wave just gets put in a really shitty spot off of that gank. It's not much you can do about it, to be honest. Because the way that your mana plays out, um, it can be a pretty difficult spot to get the thing under tower. But I like how you back and immediately come right back to the lane. You, you didn't take long to buy either, which I think is a very important uh, concept that a lot of people don't appreciate well enough. There's no need to... Uh be pushing in this spot. Notice how you keep autoing the creeps. He's fucked. The wave is the slow push in this position. You're not dying 2v2 to Elise like ever because Shen hasn't backed yet uh, and we have sustain. So make Shen back just by slowly pushing the wave as in just last hit. See how you keep queuing? Hold this position. And what I mean is just last hit. I know it takes patience. If you watch a lot of my replays lately, you'll see me uh, slow playing situations a lot more. This would be a spot that you'd want to slow play it because you want to keep Shen interested. If you just shove him under tower, there's not really much that we can do yet anyways. If you want to get him under tower, you want to build a big wave. Notice how right now this is already under the tower. Okay. If we back up, I want you to see this position for what it is. You're autoing the creeps. You are quickly moving this wave forward. And, and simultaneously, you will be exposing yourself to a gank. You will be showing your penis to Elise. I always say exposing yourself, and I giggle to myself. Now, here we obviously know Elise is mid, but either way, there's no rush in this position. And I, I really want to hammer home the concept of just jamming the wave under tower when it makes no sense. This happens a lot with junglers like Kha'Zix, where if you just jam a wave under tower... Kha'Zix will come, like, I'm saying if he's on the other team, it's just an example. Kha'Zix will come right as the wave gets shoved under tower and then put you in a shitty spot where you're probably going to have to blow your flash if you're poked down at all or, um, you know, they've got some really good engage or something. Uh, you won't have the minions to defend you. So that's part of the reason why I want you to slow push. If you notice, you basically auto the creeps really fast and immediately get this under tower when you could have played it a little bit slower, maybe burned off some more CS away from Shad, potential like one or two creeps, and then uh, at the same time get a, another wave to back you up a little quicker. It would have defended yourself a bit more from ganks. And additionally, if you want to dive this guy, bigger waves help. Uh, help with that so wave management's important um, I think in this situation it's not making or breaking the lane Shen's playing pretty patient there's not much you can do about this but notice how you're giving away a lot of farm here this doesn't make any sense to me notice your position you have river you have vision of river Shen's really low and you just back all the way up like you're super scared here I suppose you could be getting ganked sometimes. So maybe that's why you're playing timid. Let's see what you do with the wave shoving to you now. Don't do this. No. He's just bad. Now notice what you just did. Watch. That's nine minions to six, okay? We know he's backing, by the way. It's pretty obvious he wants to leave. He pushes and then leaves. You need to just sit here and wait and just last hit. You pushing this wave. Well, okay, let's, let's break it down like this so you understand. If you push this wave, he misses zero CS, okay? He misses zero CS. Why? Because you pushing this wave 
by the time that you push all this, you're going to get six creeps pushing forward to tower, and then Shen's going to come up and clear it. However, if you just let the minions do do the job for you of pushing, you're going to get more. You're going to deny more CS. You're also going to put Shen in a longer lane because the wave's going to push to us. And at the same time, we're just going to misvalue. Okay. I can fix it a little bit. So in shoving, you put Shen back under tower. Let me ask you a question. Have you been able to do anything with Shen under tower? Right? What's he do when he gets under tower? He threatens to taunt you under tower. We can't do shit, right? We win versus Shen. As soon as we get six, it's pretty much an over lane. Like there's nothing he can do. He's never killing us in a 1v1 like ever. So why would you want to push to tower here when we benefit from getting the wave towards our side and then maybe getting Shen on a, on a long lane all in. But watch what you do. You immediately go, oh, he's back? I'm pushing. You would have gotten rid of a bunch of creeps. Now what's he going to do? He's going to TP. He's late, by the way. I mean, he's late. And maybe he, you know, he's choosing not to TP or whatever uh, retarded decision. He should have TP'd, by the way. So you make a wrong choice. He makes a wronger choice here. Imagine, and the same rules apply, by the way. Imagine if you just let the wave push. The, the wave would have been right here. Nine or probably like seven or eight minions would have been right here. And you would have had Shen in the long lane. And he would have had to walk all the way out to that position. You would have denied even more CS. Do we really need to flash? Let's see. He doesn't necessarily know you're there, so why are you flashing? Uh, I don't mind that flash, actually, the more I look at it. Hey, thanks for the sub, buddy. Welcome. How do I say your name? Islash Hearts. Thank you. Or I slash hearts. I'm retarded. Thank you, man. The reason you're behind in XP is because you played the lane the way you did, by the way. Because you gave him more CS than he should have had, given how he played it. Because he needed the TP in order to get maximum CS, he needed to use teleport. I want you to make a mental note. When you roam around the map, this is what happens, okay? Which is why I'm really big on when you play champions that dominate lane, focus on dominating the lane. Uh, I don't mind the roam too much to help with the fight or anything. I don't hate the roam. I'm just saying that that's the kind of position you're going to get in. That's the pro and con, okay? You could have killed, you probably could have froze the lane here in this position and killed this dude. Uh, in a long lane, but because you use your mana and your flash and all that shit, um, you actually wind up getting pushed out of lane straight up. Not saying it's the end of the world, but it's just, again, a pro and con of, of those types of rooms. Which is why one of the things, um, when I was working on Cassid and Mid, learning that recently, is one of the things I put on my sticky notes. Uh, I kept getting baited into goofy dragon fights as soon as I turned six. And I keep getting in the fights and I'd be like, man, this is really hurting my ability to control the lane. So I've, I've basically just dropped that, like that frequency, I've dialed it down. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't be, uh, I need to gauge your TP here. I hate this. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you why I hate it. Um, the ward isn't sneaky enough. Okay, it's gonna take us an hour just to pop out of this fucking thing. We don't have flash. The only thing that I like about this teleport is that you push the lane. 
Like you basically push the lane before you did it. So it's not that bad. Okay, it's not that bad of a uh, of a teleport in terms of pushing. Like you've at least taxed top in order to do it. Shen's gonna counter it a lot though. Um, and they're pretty much all like in most cases your teammates are already gonna kill Morgana anyways and you're just gonna kind of pop up and stand around without flash see that pop up and stand around right they didn't even get the Morgana Somehow, newbie fight goes our way. You look at this fight, you look at the results, you tell me, do you think this was a reliable spot that you'd want to stick all your chips in every time you saw it? Like, looking at that situation. The, like I said, the only thing I agree with... Now, if they were deeper, if they were deeper, like, say they had pushed to here and you teleport to engage and, and you know, you're kind of in a spot where they may not have vision... Um, so like Vayne Morgana, like right on this line, near this line, Vayne, you know, uh, that's a W, not a V. Vayne Morgana are like floating around right here and you teleport to this position and, and you engage it as opposed to your teammates are fighting and they're pushing them out. If you got the flank, I really would have liked that a lot better. Um, the, again, this is good though, because you've pushed, you basically, you made a TP happen with a wave pushing in. So that means you've you've put a situation on Shen where if he responds and he's wrong, he misses farm. Um, or if he's right, he still misses farm anyways. So <coughs> that's a good aspect of the TP. Uh, generally though, I'm pretty much always going to align with focus on winning the lane and dominating it. But if you choose not to TP, newbie's going to die. And don't care. I don't care about newbies. That is really unlucky. This gank, this re-gank is pretty obvious, but you're Darius, so it's okay. I mean... You're absorbing a lot of pressure here, it's not that bad. What did we get for items? Shen goes bottom, nothing you can do about that. He taught, oh my god, you can't miss that. Like, you can't miss that. Why are you stepping backwards, first of all? Fuck that. That's the most retarded... This guy's trying to die, by the way. Where are you going? Why are you going backwards? Why are you going this way? Hello? That makes no fucking sense. You should be stepping in front... This is the most ridiculous, preposterous engage that he could have come up with. Level 9 Shen versus level 10 Darius. Out of minions, away from turret. There's two minions there that you're going to kill with Q anyways. So even if you're like, well, he has minions. He burned taunt to engage. I can see Elise. Like, there's just no universe where you should be stepping backwards. This is bad. This is, this is a big part of why you lose. This is the type of shit that like, you should be taking advantage of. Seriously, look at how dumb this is. Look at how you're running backwards away from the guy. Why? Fuck that. Stand in front of his dumb ass. You have to work off of cooldowns and fundamentals. What's the fundamentals? Level. My, I'm, I'm an anti-tank. I'm an anti-tank bruiser with a level lead. And this guy just burned taunt to engage when I can see their jungler in three bottom. I have Kha'Zix. Look at all these things that add up to it. I have Kha'Zix coming up to top right now. 
are you even thinking about like th- these are the types of spots where I have to ask like are you even thinking about what's happening around the map when he does this type of play and are you excited like is there any situation where you're excited to go in if you don't get like if you don't get the most raging fucking stiffy on this type of this is so bad and and you know the worst part about this is I don't even play Darius and I know that you kill him here right I don't play Darius at all I think I've probably played like two games of Darius in my life and I don't even think it was this Darius I think it was before they changed him up so that's what I mean by fundamentals it has nothing to do with your champion it has nothing to do with any of that it's just common sense let's break it down 10 is greater than 9 first thing 2 um gap close close engage engage into a bruiser right 3 jungle top side 4 enemy jungle is bottom These are fundamentals. These things have nothing to do. These things have nothing to do with champions specifically. They have literally nothing to do with any like matchup specific stuff. How do we respond to this? When we had fucking, when we have this time, this kind of engaged, it doesn't make any sense. You step in front the whole way through. And if your brain is it on if you're not in in uh if you're not in sync with what the fuck is happening in spots like these you should be asking yourself like why didn't like what did i miss here you should be aware where your jungler is you should be aware that you're a level lead over this guy you should you should know that you beat this guy in the spot anti-tank versus fucking bruiser i mean anti-tank darius versus tank level nine level ten at least bot side. If Yasuo shows up, we have a 2v2. Like, this is all just fucking... You have flash up. Like, all these things are a big part of the fucking decision-making process here. Thankfully, he's retarded and dies anyways. He actually keeps extending the trade. So my rant is kind of for naught. However, if this guy had a brain at all, after you missed the grab, he was out. Okay? And that would have been a spot missed. Can't miss that shit. Teleport to hold the wave, I don't think is that bad. I think it's reasonable. What happens here? Are oh, you trying to grab? Don't extend the trade after you miss grab. Before you get swagged on by Trashuel. You don't have your ult up anyways. You were a little late on that rotation. Um... So right here, you should be out and moving towards top. Notice how much time you waste. Floating, 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 floating. Now we're gone. Um, Try to keep aware of your CS. You don't want to miss anything. Always be juggling that CS. Okay, they got fed trash oil, which is standard in low elo. That's why everyone bans him. Good. What happened with this engage? Is it because... Let me see what you did. In your defense... 
it's uh, insanely close. Let's go back and see if we missed anything here. Ah, it's close. It's a good try. I don't blame you for going for that at all. And then you pull three top. That could have changed that whole situation dramatically too. If we get that kill. So it's fine, dude. That, you know, shit happens. The guy flashed your, your Q. So they, they go and feed you at Rift. Um, what you got for build? Build looks standard to me. I would be pushing my ass off on bot lane for a little bit. Two top. Pressure. No, 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 no. Pressure the tower. It's okay. Shen's not going to one tap you under tower. Pressure it. Okay, now here we have Morgana coming for us. You juke the Morgana bind, your team is coming. There you're not thinking about Morgana spell shield at all. Dude, you can't. My only concern with this. My only concern with that is that you give Yasuo a lot of wiggle room there to fight your team, and that's very dangerous. So don't worry about getting the triple as much as securing the Yasuo. Because you you know when you kill... I mean, you play Darius, so you should know, right? You're automatically going to stack up your passive off just one touch after killing the first guy with the ult. So fucking focus on the Yasuo. Get him down so he doesn't punk your entire team. Alright, what happened here? Hold on, let's see this spot. No. Dude. Calmly get your level 14 and relax. Just sit there and get your level 14. If your whole fucking team dies, they die. Whatever. You don't, don't do, don't just autopilot to what your team's doing, okay? Fucking finish your level 14 and then rotate. See this? This shit? You don't need to be joining this fast. Is your teammates, are, you, are your teammates like, just gonna a suicide immediately and it, even if they do like even in this hypothetical world where they do you can't be doing this shit like play the fight out did Sakami, thanks for the three months. <laughs> Basically, what you did is you went, my teammates are fighting. Let me just let me just coin flip this real quick and see what happens. Is what you did. You could have gotten you could have gotten level fourteen and then just calmly walked over and then maybe pick somebody off with a quick dunk because you're so fed. Instead, you didn't bait your newbies at all, and you didn't just you didn't think. You just fucking went. I'm going in, like full steam ahead. I think that you need flash in a in a fight like this anyways so that you can actually like secure a killer or, or get a dunk spree going but this like flashing over the wall like you skip level 14 you flash the wall and you basically suicide right into the middle of the fight it's not game over but it, it was very like it was just a spaz out clown music for the flash okay here we go it's for you you better sub now don't let me down 
Because, I mean, to be fair, it was pretty clowny. All right, here we go. Wait, what do we got? How about this one? That level 14 actually would have been huge. Like, for real. The other thing about this is you weren't going backwards like you're supposed to be. You're supposed to be queuing, Q, and go this way with your teammates and then do a big chain, like a big grab. Instead, you just go in there, um, which you could get CC locked as you did. And then without your flash, so you basically go deep into the fight without flash and then just coin flip. That's not smooth. Totally worth, yeah, worth. So yeah, you wanted to kite that fight backwards, not just suicide in like that. And by the way, you're the you're kind of protecting whether or not your team wins or loses, so you can't you can't just die like that for free. Play the fight out smart. Think about what you're doing. Okay, they overstay. You should be pinging the fuck out of Baron right now, by the way. There's four... Three members dead. Yeah. I mean, you may or may not be able to, to motivate them to do Baron. But it is a nice look, I think. So you ping it, you back. We don't have Flash to use. You can't die here. It's good pressure. It's fine. You poke at it. They're not going to give it to you. It's okay. That's a good attempt. Degniznam. Deg Degniz name. I hope I said that right. Degniz name. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. You're just. You're. You are freaking the fuck out right now in these fights. Let the fight happen. Stop just flashing in like a maniac. Play the fight out. Play, walk over, or walk behind tower and hook these guys, like E them over the wall. But why go? You're going away from tower. You're going away from your team and you're, you keep flashing and it doesn't, it's not securing anything. You're just flashing in and hoping that the fight pays off. Let your dumbass die. Like let your dumbass fucking Annie die, right? And just wave clear and chill. It's okay. If they take an inhib or something, it's okay. What's not okay is that you flash in and die immediately and don't bait your new you're not baiting your newbies and getting any resets at all. You're just as soon as they fight, you just go in and die with them. You have you have time. Wiggle around in the fight. No one's even burned half the time I see no one's even burned CC yet. Like 
bait some stuff, dance on the outside, scare the shit out of the enemy team. You're playing zero mind games. You're just literally jumping in and hoping it works right now. There's no thought. All these different options. Wait for Andy to come out of Zonia's and ult. You walk up, you grab three, then you step back, Q on the way back, and then maybe, you know, Tristana actually does something, pulls his it pulls his head out of his ass or go over the wall, walk over the wall, grab these guys and then calmly play the fight out. But you constantly like as soon as a fight happens, your flash is up. You're like, I'm flashing in. Blah. You don't have to do that. Use the flash to actually get something done that you know is going to get. You're just flashing in. And I can see it. Watch. If I slow it down, watch, 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 watch. It's like you're closing your eyes and just hoping it works. That's all you're doing. Watch. Q wind up. Q. You hit nothing. You hit zero. There was nothing hit. You're not on Vayne. Vayne walked by you and you flashed over the Vayne. The Vayne ISO'd himself. Watch. So like you flash over vein because you're just you're freaking out. Calmly play the fights. If let me tell you a secret. If you're um if you're playing these like chaotic team fights, the beauty of them in most cases as you can really before they even start, you should be thinking like, all right, what's going to happen here? Fucking, you know, one uh, you know, Morgana bind, right? Morg bind. Two, what, what's Yasuo going to do? Yas tornado, right? Three, what, what else is going to happen? Shen taunt, right? Four, vein condemn, right? So we got the vein condemn that we got to worry about. There's a lot of stuff that we have to think about here, right? Elise cocoon. So we, we have a lot of things to think about and a lot of CC. Like this is a CC list, right? We have a lot of things to think about. If we just autopilot in when everyone has their CC up, right? Every single person has CC when you go into these fights. When you're just going first, like face first into them, everyone has their CC up. You're not whittling anything down. And that's just me. That's just managing CC. That don't, that's not even talking about the positioning of just walking by a vein. You could have just walked in. Auto, W, Q the vein, get his condemn, and then space the vein out, threaten to dunk him, and walk forward and grab three. But you're just jumping into the middle and hoping that it works. That's what's going on. And it's like, of course, the way you play it, right? You didn't even target Vayne. You just flashed in and hoped for the best. Now, when we look at that fight, you tell me, is that really the best way that we could have played that fight? Of course not. Of course not, but you're not using, that's a pretty good way to put it. You're not using the presence. It's like, you're not even threatening anything. You just go in and hope it works. There's so many skill shots, movement that you can manipulate, uh, threats that you can, you can hold over people's heads. Like, but you're not doing that. You're just jumping in and getting CC'd. Now, in your defense on this game in particular, Vayne is kind of a nuisance to Yasuo uh, later in the game. It's kind of like that. He's just one of those champions, Vayne, where it's like you pick a you pick a big tank, and if Vayne gets ahead, which she will eventually get ahead in, in your games, you're going to have a rough time. So you need to handle these fights versus Vayne specifically very delicately, and that was also part of the problem, is that you never seem to pick a good spot. You just kind of 
bumped into each other, Vane's always going to win those trades. You have to think, like, I need to try to grab this guy, snag him into our side, or or uh, grab combo him, or whatever. And that's what you need to focus on trying to figure out. And then you can start piecing together a game plan, like, okay, I'm going to wait till Morgana, use a spell shield, and then I'm going to flash and try to get this fucking guy real quick. Um, and just this guy or, you know, wait until my teammate engages and then I'm going to walk up and grab. But there was just no thought here, dude. You were just hoping that your shit worked. And as a result, that's why you lost. Um, you know, you'll never really know whether or not playing perfectly would have resulted in you winning given the, their type of team, like their late game team is really tough to deal with. Um, but there was no, there was no game plan and every team fight anytime you team fought it looked hideous it was just like it it was as if you it was as if you were a pilot and you just like took your hands off the the controls and just started fucking spinning in your fucking chair like i hope this works shit and that's what that's what you need to work on um but yeah that's what i take away from this replay uh as far as your laning goes obviously you had a pretty easy lane you should have probably stayed in the lane more often than not than moving around. Um, there was times where I think you missed opportunities and you don't seem very confident in yourself. And that's something that you can work on, uh, your build, uh, Merc treads is fine versus heavy CC. So I don't really mind that at all. Uh, I think your build was a okay. As far as I could tell, I don't see any big issues with that. It's mostly just your team fighting. You never really played out a team fight properly. You just kind of were first to go down. And as a fed person, even as a tank, that's not really how it's, how it needs to happen. Um, and to be fair, you're not like a, you're not like a malfight. You're not just fucking ulting in and hoping for the best. You got to kind of wiggle around, throw some cues out there, play the fight out smarter, uh, and think before you completely commit, which is why burning your flashes twice before even anything it even happened um, is just unacceptable. Be greedier, play for yourself a bit more, uh, and you'll definitely see some results when you're playing these types of games. All right, YouTube, I hope this helps you. My Darius peeps out there, please like, subscribe. This makes it to the channel. Love ya, and I'm out. Peace. Crackers, thanks. <laughs>